Hi, I'm Dave Kalzer with Rotor Chopper Customer Support. In this video today, we will be showing you how to install and remove B-lock bushings. And before you get started, be sure to follow all safety precautions, including lockout, tag out of power sources, and wear eye protection. For this demonstration today, we'll be using a power feed that has been removed from the machine, and you will need a torque wrench for installation and removal of the B-lock bushing. To begin installation, clean and lightly oil locking screws, taper, shaft, and bore contact areas. To install the B-lock onto the shaft, loosen all the screws or use the push-off threads to release that B-lock to slide it onto the shaft. Make sure that all collar slits are aligned and tighten the screws by hand. As you, as you begin to tighten the B-lock down, be sure that your parts are aligned with each other and you make sure that you start with a 5% increase in the torque so if it's a 60 pound torque, you're going to go to 63 and go around with the torque wrench on each, on each bolt. And you go around in a circular pattern. And then when you get that complete, then you would go around again. When, they all, when the torque wrench clicks at 63 pounds, you'd reduce your torque back to the torque specs in the book which is 60 pounds on this particular unit, and go around again. So you reset the torque wrench and go around again until each bolt clicks in the torque wrench. When you, during final installation, be sure that everything is aligned and that the, the, all, none of the screws move with the torque wrench at the end, and also Mark with a paint marker on the shaft and on the screws and the hub and monitor it when you start up to make sure it doesn't spin. If it spins, stop the unit and redo the installation. To remove the B-lock assembly, remove all the screws. You can round the end of each screw and lubricate. Also check the threads on the push-offs before you put them in. And there is, there is three different pieces inside here. So you're pushing the, the back piece and the center piece, you're, you're pushing to remove them when you tighten the bolts. And you do not want to use an impact because that will lock these threads up in that removal process. Once you have all the screws in the push-off holes, now you can go around and do a quarter turn at a time and do not use an impact at this point either and just keep going around to release the inner and, and the center part of the hub to release that hub from the shaft. After removal of the B-lock, check your shaft for any damage, especially before you install any new components. Thank you for choosing Rotor Chopper. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more support videos.